Hey guys, I just added some courtesy lights onto my Honda Clarity. If you haven't known already, I drive a lot, especially at nighttime, so these lights are actually pretty darn good. These are door projector lights, they're wireless projector lights I got on Amazon. If you want to take a look at it, it's this. This is the wireless courtesy light. You could buy this on Amazon, I'll leave you a few links below. Later in the video, I'm gonna basically take them apart so I can modify them and do fun stuff with it. So stay tuned for more. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for the Sony W channel. I do a lot of car mods and other fun stuff, and also a lot of tinkering and stuff. So my previous video, I actually added ambient light to my Honda Clarity because there is an ambient light in it on the footwells, as well as the glove box was really dull, as well as the storage area needed more light. I also added a switch to turn all the stuff on and off, which is pretty cool. For these courtesy lights, I got these on Amazon. These are Corvette. These are meant for a Corvette. They have the Corvette logo on it. And as you can see, it just projects a Corvette logo. You get this for other you know, projections and other logos. But like I said, I want a lot of light on the ground. So why did I buy Corvette ones instead of a Honda door projector light? Well, it's because the Honda door ones were like 15 bucks. And the one for the Corvette at the time when I found it was roughly around $10 or eight bucks. You even find it cheaper for like eight or $9 for a pair of these. So that's why I bought the cheapest one because I knew I wasn't gonna use the actual um, film that's inside. These are tiny little projectors, which I thought that was pretty neat. And you know, when I take it apart later, you'll see what, what I mean. It's actually a lot of interesting optics in there. And you know, even though it's all plastic, it's pretty neat. So it comes with the projectors, come with two uh, mounting, two, uh, magnets, really strong magnets, so that it could turn on and off the light. There's also some M3 or 3M or whatever this adhesive is. I don't think it's actually 3M adhesive. I have no idea. And it also comes with the little um, film that says a logo of some sort. So putting three AAA batteries in it, it acts as a little projector and it projects out. The 3M or whatever adhesive that stuff is pops out in the center, so you could put a piece of the you could adhere to the back of the projector light as well as onto a little magnet so put it on the top and you basically just it takes like literally 10 minutes just to put this thing on take off the thing put the adhesive on put the batteries in and slap it onto the door just make sure that you test it before you actually put the fine you know adhere it onto your door because once you put it on it's stuck there pretty much and make sure that little magnet actually turns it off otherwise it's not going to work out for you there's only about a centimeter or two where it actually triggers i'm going to go ahead and use plastic dip a little later and just cover that shiny magnet that's on the bottom so it disappears one major caveat here is that it hangs over the ledge as long as you got 60 percent over it you know, over this curved door, I think it's fine. It looks kind of weird and awkward, but to be honest, I need the light when I open the door so I can see if I drop my cell phone or keys or whatever else. So that's the main driving point for me getting these courtesy lights is to see the floor. I want to possibly take it apart or put a diffuser on it to make it even brighter and wider so that's not so sharp. Um, I also have a lot of flexible LED lights I did for my other project. I like flexible lighting so that you can actually glue it against the curvature of all the panels. And I plan to probably do it with this one. So I took it apart because this provides four and a half volts and it's a straight to that LED thing. So I want to see if there's a way I can make this a much wider light. Taking it apart, I see that there's several lenses in here, which I thought was very, very interesting as a projector. And you know, it has, it's actually very interesting how they how all these lenses are packed together. If you took out all the lenses and stuff and just had the LED light by itself, it's extremely bright and extremely wide. I plan to make another project with this after taking this thing apart. The sensor and also that magnet trigger is very, very cool. You, I mean, I'm taking this apart. It only cost me like four or five dollars, so I'm gonna use this to make other fun DIY projects. So let me know on the comments below what you want me to do. I'm planning to make other fun lighting and stuff, or if you want me to you know, add to my other LED lighting, that'd be great. Like, subscribe, of course, hit the bell button. Big thank you, of course, to all 11,000 plus subscribers. Check out the other stuff I've been doing with the LED lights. I bought some from Amazon and just try, played around with it. Also, there's a lot of DIY videos on maintenance stuff for my Honda Clarity and also my other Honda cars I own and my Chevy Volt as well. So I do a lot of maintenance and DIY stuff with those things, as well as new stuff to do with um, the garage and other fun stuff. So check out the other videos. There's a lot of videos on my channel. And of course, there's a lot of uh, updates and unboxings and reviews and you know other sorts of stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time.